Right, having done the one needle brush, it's easy to go on and do the two needle brush with the corner. What I will do is use the same rectangle and the same stroke. I'm selecting it and I'm going to make a copy of it and move that over. Space bar to move my screen over. I select the back rectangle and I'll put a colour in it. As you can see over here, the fill box is at the back. I click on to X and it brings that to the front. So I now need two strokes. So holding Shift, I'll move that one up a little and now Alt and shift to drag down, hold shift to select two things at the same time, so click, shift, click and I've selected both of those strokes at the same time. Group them, so I've got the rectangle and the two strokes grouped now. Select all of those, horizontal align center, and vertical align center. And now we'll make a copy of that. So Alt to make my copy and I drag it off holding Shift. So I've got my side tile over here and I'm about to create my corner tile. I'll rotate those two lines, copy them and hold shift to rotate them 90 degrees. Deselect. I'll zoom up so I've gone to my zoom tool. I marquee over that. Direct selection and click onto that anchor point. Hold shift and come down until that anchor point intersects the first horizontal line. I go to the anchor point on the left of the first horizontal line, hold shift and when the arrow goes from black to white I let go. So I've created that corner. Now we need to create the bottom corner. So I've highlighted that line, click onto the anchor point, hold shift and drag that across until that line intersects with the vertical line. So you can see I'm dragging across and it intersects. Let go of the mouse and let go of the shift key. Click onto the anchor point at the top of the vertical line hold shift and drag down until it intersects with the bottom line. And there we have our two needle corner swatch. Control minus to zoom out. Selection tool. Select the rectangles at the back and remove the fill. As we did with the one needle I'm going to marquee over those and group them. And then, resting my mouse on one of the paths, I click and drag into the swatch box. And there's my two needle brush corner. Double click, two needle brush corner. OK. Select my two needle brush. I come to the little pot with all the brushes in. New brush, new pattern brush, OK. Everything is fine over here. I'll change my colorization to tints, the method, and I will select my two needle corner brush.
and rename that. To a needle brush with corner. OK. Control minus to zoom out. I'll just copy that across and select my two needle brush with a corner. So let's change that colour to something you can see a little better. So there we have it the little corner brush, the corner tile, and the rest of it. So even if I were to draw a whole lot of straight lines, you can see that our corner tiles work all the time. And that's it. So we've had a look at the one needle brush with a corner and the two needle brush with a corner.